All right, so we're coming down uh, Cinnamon Pass, and uh, this is a pretty good pass. I'm pretty impressed with the scenery, that's for sure. It is raining, which has added um, a little interesting element to it, I guess. Not much, though. The road, for the most part, is in pretty decent shape. I wouldn't recommend anybody taking a two-wheel drive up it because, not saying that you can't do it, but um, it'd be a little bit difficult. So that was, according to the sign, Cinnamon Pass and Engineer Pass. An Engineer Pass is something that um, I've always wanted to do. So I guess now I can say that I've done it. And Christy, you can say that you've done it too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Really wasn't that bad. No. Uh, Gulch's is far worse. Right? Some spots. Uh, I'd say in some spots. Yeah. It's very similar. Wait till we get to Moab. That's a whole different level. This was just rocky. So I put it in four low um, in an effort to basically just keep the truck going slow. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool trail. Hopefully we'll get into Teddy Road here shortly. Cause I'm hungry for that pizza. So now we're going up the California Gulch. Is what this is called. Another little interesting pass. With a sign up here telling me that you better have four wheel drive or else. Found only in the Arctic and isolated in high mountain ranges, tundra has a very short growing season. Shallow soils and harsh weather make it even more fragile. A century may pass before scarred tundra heals. It is unlawful to drive or park off-road. Protect our land. Crazy. So this stuff literally just sprouts in just a couple of months. That's, I guess, what they're saying. So all throughout this whole area here, it's scattered with uh, remains of an old mining site slash camp. And it's quite crazy. And I wonder what they used to use to pull up and down these hills. Wow. <coughs> and you can see like where the old posts and stuff were. Up there. It's 
really crazy. Oh, look at how the clouds are in the mountain. Mm -hmm. That water there's orange. That's so weird. For sale mines. For sale. You can buy these air mines. <laughs> Would you buy it? No. Why? Uh, there might be some silver left in them. This is the trail that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started driving not knowing where it went. And they'll continue driving just because it never sends. It really is crazy, all the different color water. Like, it's white there, orange back there. Going into the clouds. This little pass here. I say little. We've been on it for quite some time now. We are currently 12,700 feet. Which is just crazy to me. I guess that would explain why the clouds are right there, huh? Christy, you ever been in the clouds? No. That's wild. And we're still climbing. I wonder if that's open or closed. You wanna go in it? <clears throat> huh? You're not supposed to. Oh, you're not? Mm -mm. No, because it can fall on you. Be done done died. Look at that. What is that? I don't know. Is that a monkey? It looks like a damn monkey. It looks like a monkey, but I don't think it's a monkey. Do they have monkeys out here? No. I can't even see it now. Where'd it go? Behind these rocks. jumps in the window. What kind of animal was that? Huh. And where did it go? That was weird. It damn sure looked like a monkey. Mm -hmm. It did, but it's not. How do you know? Because monkey was not an animal Colorado's list. <laughs> it's so funny. Why did they let his ass go? Wow. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> I don't ever want to find out. No. There's people up here playing in the clouds. Mm -hmm. Are y'all missing your monkey? <laughs> we think we found your monkey. Let's see what this is up here. This is a peak. <clears throat> this 
see what this elevation is. 12,960 feet. Mm -hmm. Let's go up there. Well, if you've ever wondered what it looks like at 13,000 feet, this is it. Yeah, those are clouds. Can you really see? No. Nah. Good morning. It is day number 11, and we are headed down from uh, the little spot where we camped last night, which was Alta, Alta Lakes. So, Alta, Alta, Alta Lakes. Alta Lakes, Alta Lakes uh, Road. Uh, we didn't camp in the campground because it was closed. And to be honest, there were some kind of sketchy houses that were kind of down there so yeah nonetheless we came back down the mountain or not down the mountain we still camped at around 11,000 feet uh, now we're headed back into Telluride where we had, uh, ended up last night and had some awesome pizza that we still have left over for lunch and dinner and all that so great pizza <clears throat> and uh, a few cold ones spent $50 in the city of Telluride they're quite proud of uh, everything they have here. Spent fifty dollars on gas too because they want three dollars a gallon for it. It's three twenty eight so, right there. Unreal. So yeah, so this is an expensive little city. Uh, I would advise that you fill up on everything before you come through here, unless you plan on uh, spending some money. Now the pizza. Make sure that you eat some pizza whenever you come here. But nonetheless, we're going back in to tell you, Ryan. Um, to kind of explore it around a little bit and then uh, from there we were going to get back up onto the Trans-American Trail and then head on out and the next stop is going to be uh, the uh, Mesa Verde National Park. <laughs> Chrissy's not happy she just saw a sign that said switchbacks for the next three miles. <clears throat> anyway we just got on to um, another off-road portion of the Trans-American Trail here. It's working out pretty good the past two days, so I told you about my tire light that came on at uh, Salida, Colorado, uh, while we were camping. I assume, presumably, because of the uh, temperature change and altitude change and all. And then after driving on the road a little bit to get back onto the trans America Trail, or uh, to get back to the rocky parts of the trans America Trail, the tire light went off. Well, last night in Alta Lakes, tire light came back on. And uh, again, driving on uh, 145 to get to here, uh, the tire light went back off. So it's working out pretty good. So what's happening, I believe, is that it, I'm keeping my tire pressures right in around 30. And I'm thinking that once the atmosphere or once the altitude and the temperature get a hold of it, it's really throwing off that system there. But nonetheless, this is what we're going to be looking at until we get to uh, the stop or the cutoff point for Mesa Verde National Park. So that way we can see some of the ancient ruins and whatnot. telling Christy the fact that it was Bear Awareness Week in uh, Telluride, Colorado kind of had me sketched out a little bit and she asked if I was worried about coming across a bear and you know I don't really worry about coming across a bear the only thing about a bear that I do worry about is if the bear were to come up to our campsite like while we're sleeping like that to me would be I don't think I'd want to be woke up that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yogi sitting outside scratching on the uh, tent. <laughs> so, uh, one thing that you know that that I do, um, and that I know that you're supposed to do, um, in order to help prevent bears, is anytime we cook or anything like that, you know, we immediately clean up and then put everything back into the forerunner. Because if a bear does come around, I'd much rather it be all over the forerunner than all over our tent. So. But yeah, Bear Awareness Week. I don't know if that means that there's a lot of bears right now, or if, uh, I, I don't, I'm not real sure. But I would assume there's probably a lot of bears in Telluride. Beautiful.
beautiful scenery. We're on National Forest Road 514 outside of Cajon, Colorado. Traveling through and we finally got to some really nice roads. Uh, the road leading to this was kind of rocky and shaky and aggravating. I was telling Christy, it, I don't mind if the whole entire road is rocky and shaky to where we can't get above 10 miles an hour. Um, but what really sucks is whenever you come across a road that's nice and then all of a sudden it just gives out to being all messed up and then it's nice again and then it gives out so you really can't get a, a rhythm going. Um, that, that gets kind of aggravating. But other than that, this is a really good road here. Make a pretty good time too. It is 11.30 local time, I believe. Mm -hmm. Look at the shadows that the clouds put over the... That's pretty cool. Alright, so we are going down to the, uh, to the main highway here to get off. We actually blew right past the little waypoint that I had set up to go to uh, Mesa Verde National Park. The reason is because we haven't had service and the waypoint was set up on Google Maps which only works whenever you have service. So lesson learned but anyway we're going down to Mesa Verde National Park. The temperature has uh, jumped up there quite pleasantly nice. to 80 degrees. This mm -hmm. is right where Christy and I love it. They're comfortable. Yep 80 degrees during the day and uh, 60 degrees during the night and you will find some happy 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 people. All right, so we're in Cortez, Colorado, and we just stopped into our first uh, dispensary of the trip, uh, which was quite an interesting experience. And, and it has Christy all kinds of giddy. She is, uh, nor is she against or for uh, the recreational or municipal use of marijuana, uh, but she just enjoyed the fact that you could just walk in there and, and how it was. But it, she had the same feeling as I do, which is, had, what was your experience? Super overwhelming. Yeah, it's I mean, way overwhelming. They talk to you like you're supposed to know what's this and what's that, <laughs> right. and what all the logo means, and yeah, there's like a hundred different options and different right. ways to smoke it, eat it, butter your toast. <laughs> yeah, um, and as you can see, right in the middle of the view here, that is a crack in the windshield that we've acquired at some point in time, which is okay. And let me tell you why that's okay the silver lining is, is the last trip that I did in this I also received a crack um, windshield I got a new windshield put in and a buddy of mine that's a uh, Tate who uh, came from doing glass work looked at it uh, as he naturally does any glass and then said hey they screwed up the glass work and I said what do you mean and I looked at it and he is right they folded down a piece of the stripping on the you know where the edge is of the window so that could actually cause some issues um, later on down the road with rust and this that and the other and da 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 so uh, good news is I'll be able to get that fixed and in the lovely state of South Carolina where you're required to have insurance that costs astronomical amounts of money one of the things that you get is free windshield replacement and I think you get how many per year or is it unlimited Depends on the company, I can't really say. Gotcha. So anyway, you do get free windshield replacement, so that's a good thing. Okay, we are in Mesa Verde National Park, and we are on our way to go see the ruins of the Mesa people. Mm -hmm. Mesa. For, yeah, for some reason I was thinking it was the Mayans. That's definitely not the Mayans, according to Christy. We're going to have to move our uh, camera here because we're trying to focus on my crack. Anyway. We're on our way up. We're going to see the ruins of the Mesa people, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's where they built like a little city and all that stuff into the side of this big mountain that we're crawling up to. As we come around this corner here, you'll be able to see it. All right, so Christy and I just came across the first. Evidently, times are hard here in the Mesa Verde National Park because we just witnessed a squirrel eating a squirrel. <laughs> Times are tough. Huh? <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you can't do it, can you? I can't breathe. <laughs> You're about to pop that muscle one more time. <laughs> Holy cow. 
Matter of fact, he was so busy eating the squirrel, we rode by and he did not flinch. Mm -hmm. The squirrel was in the middle of the road now. I had to swerve to miss him. And he was eating his buddy that was also in the middle of the road that somebody didn't swerve to miss. But, I mean, he was mounting down, chewing away, and didn't even, <laughs> didn't even move. Looked at us and kind of nodded his head as if he was saying, what's up, man? That's a gangster, thug life squirrel. Hope you guys like your new location. This is your new spot to ride for the rest of the uh, USA on dirt. Doesn't include a hood view, so, you know, enjoy it. Talk all that trash, but I got my sport tires on now. All terrains, baby. And you've got the same old shoes every day. Check this out. Don't pin how. Hmm? Had to put my hat backwards like a bro. <laughs> nah, no, if not, they're gonna really be calling me a redneck for real after this. Christy, you need to come read this. I did. You need to make sure, no, read the bottom half. Right where it starts at horses. Horses in the park may seem tame and approachable, but they are not domestic horses. Are that means don't touch them. I wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> they are ancestral Puebloans. That's what they are. If y'all want to pause it, right there. And you can read it. We're not going to read it to you, though. Y'all, this might be the end of me for real. This woman at the front just asked, was somebody comfortable hiking 2.2 miles and traveling up and down two 15-foot ladders? <sighs> I got water, though. And I got Christy. So they close this at 3.30, and it's 2.30. And they say, well, 45 minutes to an hour. We're going to have to keep it moving. Everything I do is fast. we number one. Oh, look, that's it right there. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool. It's 100 miles. We should have went the other way. That way's quicker. <laughs> Check that out. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a big jacuzzi to me. I'm just thinking, you fill that thing up with some hot water. <laughs> if I could get down in one of these houses right here, like you're protected, you know? Look at that down there. And all, all this stuff caught on fire in uh, 2000. You can see it's taking a while to build back. And the whole trail scattered with it. But otherwise, I think living underneath that cliff, man, that'd be the number one thing. Here we have a big booty white girl in her natural habitat. Just walking and prancing along. But it's nice. But can we get a segue? Hot. Lord have mercy. Well, I'm glad we didn't come out here in July. Ooh. We'd have died. I would have. She called me all terrain. I'll be finding these shortcuts. Go and you need them. Let it be known. I'm glad I picked September. We'd have had buzzards flying over us by now if it was July. Ain't it, baby? Probably. I just asked Christy how many more of these we gonna do today. How many is that, babe? Yeah. This is it, she said. <laughs> no more of these. Baby, mm -hmm. pounding out. Man, we beat it. Mm -hmm. That thing said it was supposed to take 45 minutes to an hour. We did it right on 30 dot. For real. But save your breath. Don't talk. All right, so that was fun. Um, and they got a lot more of those here too. 
um, but we got a lot more places to see. So, you know what that means, don't you, babe? Keep on moving. And we're gonna plan another trip here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's out. She said, ah, I stay in the hotel room. <laughs> that was fun, though. Yeah, it was fun. It's pretty cool. Got to walk our. You know, we've been needing to do something though, because we've been sitting in the truck. For hours and hours. Yeah. Alright, so this comes back around. Do we need to go back up anywhere? Visitor center, yeah. We need to go this way. We're done here, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we came, we saw. We did not see all of it. And we don't really have time to see all of it. But the reason that I bought the National Park Pass is so that way we could come enjoy a little piece of each of the national parks as we travel throughout our journey. And uh, this one, out of a, a, a 1 to 10 scale, 10 being the best, what would you give it so far? An 8 at least. Yeah. You can come through, kind of hike. Good little break up, especially if you're doing the trail. It's not but what, an hour and a half or so mm -hmm. off of the yeah. trail? <clears throat> it was about an hour. Yeah, so we'll be getting back onto the trail. It's it's uh, three fifteen now because we made record timing on the hike, and uh, yeah, current situation. So I would say come to Mesa Verde National Park, um, but I would say even more so, pay the eighty dollars for the annual pass so that way you can go to multiple national parks because they're all over this region. And I think that the next trip that I plan is going to be a month long still but i don't think that we're going to take the long way to get there i think taking the short way where you can make it about a two-day trip alternating driving back and forth and then explore this whole region for about a month that would be a cool trip and then just break break it down into regions so that's what i'm gonna focus on but otherwise i'd give it an eight as well